Now let's go to what we call the drums. So that's the recording. All right, so I hear a buildup in the bottom of the bass drum, which is kind of fun if I were doing a Lady Gaga track. Less appropriate for Will. Although, you know, there's no rules. I like the, I like the, the side stick being nasty like that. So what I think I want to do is, first I'm going to spread the tom a little bit in stereo because everything's in the middle. It's not, it's not a very stereo mix because it's all discrete instruments. I'm not going to put the bass on the right, you know. I'm not working at Abbey Road. Um, <laughs> so uh, I'm going to put the tom on the right. The tom is, is the... the, the brush thing is on the tongue, which is kind of cool. <laughs> so we do that. And then let's look into this um, Same. bass drum thing. Because if you listen to this and the bass, see so a build up between the two, right? And that's a major problem. So <clears throat> let's figure out who's the culprit. Kick in. Not the culprit. I bet my money on kick out. Ah. It's too bad because it's pretty, but you know what? It's too much. All right, so what we're gonna do is use this guy because I like it very much and find a problem. No. No. Ah, getting warm. Bingo. All right, so I'm going to do that. And this should solve the problem. Since they're very nicely aligned as far as phase, I'm going to change the tone a little bit so it's a little less fat. Sorry, Timmer. Let's see how this sounds. And now if I use, the, if I turn the bass on, let's see how that works. It works. So it's not rocket science. What I'm going to use for EQ on the drums is minus 3 dBs at 60 hertz on the outside bass drum, and that's it. Because the red sounds nice, and it sounds the way it should. What I may do, though, is I may put a little space on the overheads. If you listen to just the overheads, it sounds really good. So I'm just going to take the plate and a little bit of the wash. I like that. Whew. Cool. It's pretty nice. Yeah, I like that. So now what we're going to do is listen to the beginning of the song with everybody playing. I'm solid steel in scolding steam. I'm a cog in the machine. I'm sick and tired of the same routine, and I'm sinking like a submarine. We're using six plugins. That's it. So we went from the rough mix. Learn the rough mix. Seal, in scolding steam, I'm a cog in the machine. I'm sick and tired okay. of the same routine, and I'm sinking like a. Everybody, still with me? What I'm going to do now, unless it's a crucial question, better be crucial. Come on, no, no pressure, Vesey. Go ahead, go ahead. Right. So the reason why I EQ in solo 
is so you guys see what I'm doing and can hear the, the differences because I'm trying to show you something you may not be aware of. But the reality is that most of the time I will leak you in the sauce. Um, and I will set my reverbs in the sauce, in the sauce, sorry, in the sauce, <laughs> technical term, with the mix running, no solo. Because, well, let's do the violin. Where are you, Clayton? Here. So maybe we go in the solo, where's the solo? Here. Everybody following me? You see what I'm doing? Oh, yeah, you do. Great. <laughs> Isn't that fantastic? Technology. I love technology. Uh, and then I think it needs a little bit of space and it is a little bit of plate. Not that much. Until somebody sends me hate mail, I'm going to keep it this way, okay? <laughs> One more thing I'd like to do before we print a little bit of this. Uh, I'm going to use this thing. This thing is awesome. This is the new uh, UA tape emulator. Don't let the graphics uh, fool you. That's why I get rid of them. They have the default, have the noise on. I think that's pushing the nostalgia a little far. <laughs> <coughs> so I'm going to turn that off. And uh, I love 250 tape. I just love 250 tape. 30 ibs. Thank you very much. Uh, so this is flat. So what I, oh, sorry, I'm going too fast. What I did is I put this tape over the whole mix, just like if I were printing to a half-inch machine. So this is flat. I'm solid steel in scolding steam. I'm a cog in the machine. And this is with the tape. It's going to be subtle, but it's fun. I'm solid steel in scolding Fat. steam. I'm a cog in Woo! the machine. Heavenly. I'm sick and tired of the same routine, and I'm sing. Is that badass? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is one of these things that the minute you got it, you start grossly overusing it, and then you regret the week after. Um, which is exactly what happened to me. So this is, um, I mean, this is very succinct, but this is a, a quick idea of what a, a mix session in analog summing environment would be like. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to print what we've done so far. So uh, we're going to call it quick mix. How's that? And put it in record. Just record a verse and a chorus. I'm solid steel in scolding steam. I'm a cog in the machine. I'm sick and tired of the same routine, and I'm sinking like a submarine. Stopping clockwork is much harder than it seems. I'm setting free the cog in. The machine My belly boiled by a fiery heart I'm a mox oh, That was crafty. All right, so um, thank you so very much. Go take a look at puremix.net. Um, 